Back to Kingdom Hearts 2, Final Mix, PlayStation 3. It's time to go back to Olympus Castle to take care of Hades. We're going to fight a god. Well, the coast is clear. Yeah, right. We're in hell, man. No sound of the no bias or the heartless for now, anyway. What's that? The Underdrome. Fiends, so the other world once clashed there. Fiends? Oh, you, you just had to call them fiends, didn't you? Battle after battle. But Zeus didn't like the sense of violence, so he, so he locked up the place. How did it get unlocked? Some fool must have broken the seal. What an idiot. Yes, yeah, so uh, you just called yourself an idiot. Hey. Herc, you feeling any better? Well, same routine. Wonder Boy here thinks his hero days are over. And Phil thinks it's all in his head. Of course, Herc, we know you're a hero. That's right. <laughs> Blunder Boy. How could you move on a momentous day like today? The Underdrome's back, and you are gonna fill the stands. After all, your fans won't settle for anything less than a certified hero. I mean, if you're not up to it, you could always just, I don't know, lose. I bet you'd like that. Excuse me? Hey, I'm not a selfish guy. I'm not like those high and mighty snobs up on Olympus. I stand for the masses, and have I got a massive idea. The games, ladies and gentlemen, are back. Yours truly, Hades, the one and only Lord of the Dead, brings you the ultimate games to celebrate the reopening of the ultimate Colosseum. We'll finally answer the age-old question, who deserves the title Ultimate Hero? These games are gonna settle the debate once and for all. The winner reigns supreme. Of what? You guessed it, the Hades Cup! And I assure you that the great Hercules will be there, otherwise... You'll never see your girlfriend again. Low life! <laughs> You're too kind, kid. Just talk to me if you want to enter the tournament. Some of these tournaments are kind of fun, and... As I've already explained, one of my favorite battles is the, what was that again? The the Paradox Battle 99, Round 49. That's such a fun fight, but it's also a hard one unless your stats are God. You fight Cloud, Tifa, Yuffie, and Squall at the same time. And like I said, Tifa's the one that you got to worry about because she's going to kick your ass if you don't take her out, trust me. I'm just wondering, I don't think I can win like this. Okay, so we got to end the tournament. Before I go any further, let me take off this damn ugly piece of shit here. This damn uh, keeper. I put on my favorite one, Oath Keeper. Keeping my promise to Kyrie. And I think I need to stock up my potions and the money system in this game just sucks. And yes, guys, once again, I know about the whole gambler infinite money thing, but I, 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 I'm just not good at that. Every time I do it, I get turned into a dice. Fuck that. Actually, I don't think I'm going to use the Keyblade. I'm going to use something that's got a little more kick. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and talk to this little thing here. Whatever the fuck it is. Sign me up. Who do we face first? Let's see. Spin strike. Look, Orange in the tournament too. Uh oh, we might have to face him in the finals. Indeed. I bet he's a real hero, huh? Well, I don't think he's a bad guy. Yeah, that's. Yeah, it. Explain that to me. Anybody who's played Final Fantasy X knows that Orange is, is, is not a bad guy. So, why is he a bad guy in Kingdom Hearts? Why why is he in hell in Kingdom Hearts? Can somebody please explain that to me? I guess th that was the only way of putting him in the game as a dead person and bringing him back to life, huh? 
but this um this game will make it perfectly clear that Owen came directly from Final Fantasy T and they got poured into this game, which doesn't make any sense because T this is cheapy and the, ah, I'm I'm thinking too much into this right now. I mean this this is supposed to be a completely different plot line from the Final Fantasy Ten game, but Owen thinks about the events that happened in Final Fantasy Ten, but Titus is cheapy, and I mean seriously. Do I gotta talk to Hercules again before I oh I gotta talk to you again. Bring it on, bitches. All right, who's next? Our next opponent is Bad Alert. Are they any good? Sounds like they're bad. I don't think that was funny. Okay. Okay, so bad alert happens to be these bums and one of those annoying chrism jazz fuckers. I think I get you out here first. Yeah. Fuck that. Thanks, Goof. That's what Goofy Tornado does. Get out of here. <laughs> Goofy Tornado rocks. I love that move. Very, very useful ability there. We made it to the finals. If we win, we'll be heroes. <laughs> oh, that's why you're so happy. We can't stay junior heroes forever, you know. I'll try not to mess things up. Yeah, because right now you just suck. Enough already. Look, over there. He's our final opponent, right? Oren. And you are? Huh? Oren? I must defeat you and atone for my crimes. Hey. What was that all about? All right, so naturally, Orin is acting kind of funny, so we got to see what the hell is going on. And to that end, let's follow him inside this cave for another cutscene, of course. Meg, what have they done to your boobs in this game? They're huge. Okay, let's review. State your crime, prisoner. I exist. That is my crime. It is inexcusable. Ooh, good. Very good. What's wrong with Orin? He's never acted that way before. Shh. Okay, so you made one lousy mistake. You exist. But hey, I'm a forgiving guy. You keep your end of our little deal, and I'm willing to overlook a transgression or two. I understand. Defeat Hercules. And his meddling friends. What? No. Only Hercules. Oh, don't tell me you've forgotten who's in charge. Oh. Hercules and the other three. Are we clear? We're clear, Hades. Lord Hades. Lord Hades. Good. Now go. So that's how he's controlling Orin. What a jerk. He'd probably think that as a compliment. I can't stand to see Owen do that low life bidding. We've got to help him. What I don't understand is if if Hades is a god, how can he not know that Sora, Don, and Goofy were sneaking behind him and stuff like that, you know? Now we gotta 
Oh, but we gotta grab the orange first. What's wrong, Sora? Oh, Orin's in trouble. It's like Hades brainwashed him. He's using some kind of a statue. You know something? That sounds kind of familiar. Hmm. Hades may be using the statue to hold Orin's free will hostage. What do we do? See if you can find that statue. It's got to be somewhere in the underworld. Right. I'm on it. Tell me you're not thinking of leaving. You've got a match coming up. Okay. Now, this is stupid. Apparently, Hades has appeared out of thin air. From what I'm getting here, Hades was standing there the whole time. So, he should have heard about Sora's plan to, go, to uh, go get the statue. And yet, he did nothing. I mean, he just said, okay, he just overheard Sora say I'm leaving. So, he heard Sora talking about going to, to get the statue. And he does absolutely nothing about it. Come on, Square. Think, think, think. I'll fight Orin in the final. One on one. Oh, you will. Hmm. Alright. I'll draw things out to buy you time. Uh, but. Just hurry back. I know you can do Congratulations. it. Congratulations. You've got a deal. Thanks. On one condition. The Keyblader here and his trusty friends have to meet the winner in one final clash. What do you say? That'll drive the crowd wild. It better. I promise the crowd the event of their afterlives. <laughs> yeah, sucker. You know, for me, the rest is smooth sailing. <laughs> Anyway, our next destination is clearly obvious. With any luck, I'll run into a bulky vendor right about now. And I didn't, of course. Why the fuck can't I get these guys on camera? Anyway, uh, no point in me showing these heartless right now because I'm actually kind of overpowered. For these guys, yeah, no, no point in me showing these heartless. So let me just go ahead and go to the next room. Actually, there's a crown piece I want to get. Let me see if I can use the skateboard to get it. I think I can actually. Maybe if I jump on here, do like this. Ah, I can't get that way, can I? Let me see. Jump up. Ah, oh, fuck that. Fuck it. Fuck it. You probably can use that skateboard to get that piece, but I am, I'm tired of trying. Die, you little fuck. All right. This thing. What do these things do? I mean, what is that little green musical thing do what do, does that do all right I want to can I reach it now let me see here let me see if I can get that let me see jump and yeah. got it got it I gotcha yeah. God, this is it. die well I can't pass up Neo shadows did they drop right because I gotta kill each and every one of these guys there's more of them Die. Die. Is there a reason why the Neo Shadows in this game are weak? But the ones in the first game and in um and 358 days are like uber powerful? Why why is that? Alright, I think so I just learned a new ability. What was that? It was uh what did I just learn? Well besides this. Combination boost, increase the time limit. Yeah, I mean, my, no reason not to use that. Even though I don't use, I don't use limits that much. No reason not to have that on unless you ain't got the space. 
Now, some of you are probably wondering why I'm just not doing this boss fight. The thing is, I wanted to wait until my stats were strong enough. That way, I can actually explain the fight without worrying about taking too much damage. But first, let me go in here and come out in case I want to do it again. Now that is entertaining! Anyway guys, I was saying, at this point this boss is a complete insect However, I still need to explain exactly how it works. Let's do this. Okay, in stage one of this fight, he trusts all of you in the book one by one. When he trusts all three of you in the book, then you go to this, this book dimension. Fuck that. Now, he's very hard to catch. Let me free Goofy first. As I said, he's very, very hard to catch. Unless you got this or that. And then, of course, there's always the Thunder Spell. That'll buy some time to get close to him. Okay, now, I'm not going to damage him anymore because I need to show you what he does to you in the book world in stage one. Because there's something that I need to correct. I said something, and some of you may have seen my, my Kingdom Hearts video on the PS2 version of all the, all the data battles. I need to correct something I said. Alright. I said that I said that this guy changes your commands when you attack the wrong book. That is completely untrue. I don't know how the fuck I missed this. What's happening here is the book that he's in, he will do th this little green fireball thing on you. And that's what's trapping you inside the book. Right there. Right there. You saw him? That's him right there. That's him. Now, you need to look for... Which one was it? Retrieve. There's another one that'll free you, return. There's another one, unlock. I think there's a total of four of them. Retrieve, return, unlock, and I forgot what the fourth one was called. If there's a fourth one. Now, at this point, guys, you can either use a limb break to, to, to try to attack all the books until you find him, or you can wait for him to come to you. As you see, Eventually, he will come to you. Let me just show you. Okay. He's right here. This is the one he's in. He's in... He's in... This one, I think. There he is. There he is right there. But I'm going to wait for him to come to me instead. I'll show you why in a minute. I mean... I could have killed him by now, but I'm trying to explain this fight. Eventually, he'll come to you. That's not him. Ah, I couldn't see him. He's on the side, you little fucker. He was, he was on the side. I couldn't see him on the side screen there. I mean, he's not going to beat me. I'm just trying to explain the fight. Because a lot of people want to want to beat this guy early. And if you want to fight him early, you need to know how it works.
Where is he? There he is. It's saying, okay, there he is right there. You see him? He's right up there on top. That's him right there. That's him. Eventually, he will come to you. When you see him doing that, cast the reflect spell. If you time it right, you can stop him from doing that, that whole book shit. Now, what I like to do here is I try to keep Donald and, and Goofy free. But I ain't got to worry about that right now because I'm doing so much damage to him. Now, stage two, this is where it gets ugly because of that shit right there. If you try to fight him early on in the game, that damn wave thing, it one-shots you. Which is actually the main reason why I don't do the fight early. In the second stage, he's actually quite easy to find. There he goes right there. Do enough damage, and then you'll see that command where you can bring him back to the real world and kick his ass. I mean, at, at this point, he, he, he's really not even a challenge, to be honest. All right, now this is his his uh, desperation attack. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There we go. This is something I learned from from Bizkit. He will move that light around thirteen times, and on the thirteenth one, he will uh, stop. You can use this to your advantage and know when he, he's gonna stop. Do a um. Damn, I did it again. I hate when I do that. I hate when I ask them to do a magic attack. I can't stand that. Use that to, um, you know, to, to know when he's going to stop. That way, you, you'll be ready for it. Okay, he's going to do it again. All right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, that's 12. So I know it's not going to be that one right there. So it's going to be the one on the left or the one on the right. There we go. 13 times. I guess that makes sense, you know, organization 13. That makes sense. Dude, you're not going to beat me, okay? Give it up. Yeah, those ways can be quite annoying. Uh, oh, fuck. Are you fucking kidding me? anti sword sucks. I can't do any rest commands. I fucking hate this thing, man. Fuck this. Someone asked me how come I'm not showing you anti sword This is why. Because I don't fucking like it. This thing sucks, man. I can't do anything with anti sword I can't heal. I can't do any rest commands. I can't... Revert back unless I'm out of battle, but I'm in a boss fight, so now I gotta wait for the goddamn thing to go away. I fucking hate, I, I hate Etisaur. Now, if he does that damn move that trust me inside of the book, I'm totally fucked. Damn, I hate this fucking thing, man. Fuck Etisaur. So, does that answer your question? I, I told you. Just because I don't respond to your question r right away, doesn't mean that I'm not reading it. Someone asked me, when am I going to show you Antisaur? And I told them that I won't. And this is why. Because I don't fucking like it. This thing sucks. Fuck it. Fuck it to hell. All right. Fuck this. Fuck this. Die! In a way, you can beat this guy as early as, as your first visit to the underworld. If you're good at avoiding his attacks and if you're very tactical, but you can get one shot at very, very easy. So I recommend you wait until you can actually just take him out with these. Because otherwise, it's going to get very, very annoying. But anyway, guys, now that I've explained how this fight works, I'm going to go ahead and find him for real this time. And squash him like the little bug he really is. Ha, 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 ha.
He turns down into a book. Uh, where are you going? Stand still, please. Thank you. Turns Goof into a book. Not yet. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you that um that Goofy Tornado can sometimes prevent book blocks. Fuck that. Alright, where are you, insect? Where are you? Come out. Come out and fight like a man. Ooh, I hate getting hit by that. Why can't I avoid that attack? I have such a hard time avoiding that shit. Why? Why can't I avoid that damn black wave thing? Why is that? Whoa. Get, get Goofy out of there. Damn it. Um, at this stage of the fight, if you do too much damage to him, he'll automatically counterattack by, by trapping all three of you in the book. So, yeah, that's very unfortunate. Here we go. Of course, another way around this is a limit break, but fuck that. Whoa! <laughs> Fuck that. Yeah, don't get hit by that, please. Please don't get hit by that. You'll probably die. If that happens, you'll probably die. Okay, this time I didn't go to any source. I kind of... Damn it, I pressed the fucking triangle button. What happened? I pressed triangle. Now I don't know where he is. There you are, you little fuck. Come out of there. What the hell? Oh, I forgot. Limit form is kind of slow on, on, on the combos. How nice. Yeah, limit form isn't going to save you all the time. Fuck that. I said fuck that. Now come out of there, you fuck. Get out of there. Get out. Get out. Die! <laughs> he's not hard. He's just annoying as fuck. That's all. He, he, you get you get trapped inside those books, and then it just gets... It, 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 it's just chaos after that. But he's, he's not hard at all. Once you level it up, he's actually very, very easy. Okay, and we're back. What you're currently looking at is actually about two days after I defeated the boss here because I had a family emergency to take care of. Now, guys, it has been brought to my attention that they're, well, they're supposed to be remaking Final Fantasy X HD again. Well, not um, not actually remaking it, but, but porting it on PS4, PlayStation 4. Whether or not I'm going to get this, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to see if they actually fix the um fix the quality of some of the of uh, some of the cutscenes in the game like sometimes you know looks really really bad and other times she looks really really detailed and for fuck's sake please fix the lip syncing got it it is not too late let us turn yes, back. But I, but I, Where is the sense in all this? There must be another way. Your deaths will mean nothing. You must live. I get it. This is what belongs in Orin's heart. Gorge, he must have had a pretty rough life. Yeah, but in the end, that's really what made him stronger. Let's give it back. Nobodies? Where did they come from? Okay, so Orin was supposed to be talking to Jet and Braska in that in that flashback. And we all know that that, that Jet is Tease's father, but the Tease in this game is 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 still in his um his chibi form. So is this like a paradox or something, you know? 
I told you, maybe I'm, I'm looking too close to this, but oh well. Anyway, guys, as I was saying, um, I don't own a PlayStation 4 at the moment because, in all honesty, right now I just have absolutely no interest in a PlayStation 4. I just don't. The only thing that's that's keep me interested in PlayStation 4 is Kingdom Hearts 3, whenever that comes out. As for Final Fantasy 10 on PS4, if they give us the opportunity to skip cutscenes, then maybe I'll consider. But I'm probably going to buy it anyway because it is my favorite game, of course. Not what I had in mind, but I'll take it. We better ski battle. Apparently, the Heartless and the Nobodies do not get along very well for whatever reason. All right, so we all make it go back to the main interest. That's good. But first, before dealing with Hades, there's a few things I want to pick up that I couldn't get before. Well, actually, I could get them, but it would have been very hard to get them. I wonder, can I get that up there now? Let me see. No, not quite. I can't make that jump just yet. I'm going to have to level up my master form a little more. And probably my, uh, my valor form, too. But I think that's a sunset piece anyway, so I'll come back for that later. But there is another piece I can get if the damn auto target leave me alone. I can get this one at least, so I get rid of these damn heartless. It was I was saying, I can get this one right here. They like puzzle piece. Okay, let's go deal with Hades. Naturally, it might be a good idea to equip any fireproof armor that you might have on, like this. You don't need it, but. No reason not to put it on, to be honest. I mean, why wouldn't you put these on? Uh, there's that again. Yes, I still haven't gotten that new controller. Ha! Hercules must be screaming for mercy by now. What? Did you come to see Hercules lose too? Let's do this. Sora, Donald, Goofy. Aaron! Why those little... Ugh. Prisoner, what happened to our mutual agreement? I can give you a clean slate, but you gotta work with me. Maybe you didn't hear me. This is my story, and you're not part of it. Is over. I've played by the rules so far. Okay, I confess. I was hoping Wonder Boy would lose, but it was still a fair fight. Come on. Is that really so wrong? Huh? Really? A <laughs> fair fight? <laughs> laugh, laugh, laugh all you want. Because <laughs> the laughing is about to stop. You want to know why? Because now we're going to play by my rules. Right at the get-go, 
You don't compete, you lose the girl. No! Meg! Hang on! Looks like Wonder Boy has dropped out of the stand. Well, you've still got us to deal with. Oh, yeah. This is gonna be good. Okay, all right, it's back. Um, I think I better use Donald for this one, yeah, because of his cure. Now, just like before, guys, you can't hurt him right now. Blizzard, take this off, of course. Why do I got that up there like that? Why? Why is that? Anyway, guys, I was saying, just like before, unfortunately, we can't hurt him yet because, you know, he's a god. You know, all that kind of stuff like that. So all we can do now is just attack him a few times and take our hits until... Hercules comes in to save the day. <laughs> we can't win. You can't win. Because it's his underworld. Gee, then how do we beat him? I think a true hero should be able to help. But you... I owe you one, Hades. I didn't hesitate to give my life for Megs, and then I remembered. A true hero is measured by the strength of his heart. I'll never forget that again. Just no more crazy stunts. People always do crazy things when they're in love. <laughs> What is so funny, you imbeciles? How dare you get a happy ending? How dare you? All right, Hades, my favorite Disney boss. I've been waiting for this. Let's go. <laughs> That's it. You won't stop it, true hero. In a way, for the most part, like most of the bosses in the games, all you gotta do is just simply hammer the attack button until he starts going like a god. Then you gotta do that that rush command with the with the Hercules in order to hurt him. Is that all you got? That's it. As you see, this fight can be pretty difficult. Because in this game, he just shoots fire all over the place. But for some reason, he gets exhausted quite quickly. I don't know why that is. But it is. <laughs> you won't stop a two hero. Well, Orin fucking him up, boy. <laughs> I love watching Orin do that. I was trying to decide on whether or not I want to waste my magic points because I want to finish them off with Owen's, um, Owen's overdrive. Yeah. 
Oh, I didn't stumble him. Damn, I thought I had him stumble, but I didn't. Stop that. Feel the heat. Yeah, I want to fist with this. <laughs> it's not over yet. I lived my life defending others, but now there's no one left to protect. Maybe it's time I shaped my own story. Yeah, you deserve it, Orin. After everything you've been through. <laughs> I suppose I should thank you. Not at all. Fine. I mean... Sure, you could thank us a little. You should say what you mean. I guess I could spare a few words. Thanks for meddling. Hey, what's that mean? Yeah, guys, Hades is not that difficult. See, in the in the first game, Hades had the stats kind of like a super boss where unless you were really, really good, you need to be at like a high level so that you don't get... Because if you get hit, you're like dying like two attacks. But his attacks were very easy to avoid. In this game, he's, he's kind of like a regular boss, but his attacks are very hard to avoid. So if, if he had the, the stats of the first game, he'd be very hard to beat in this game. Now, Guardian Soul, this is actually a very... Very, very good Keyblade. And I'm indeed going to be using it a lot, especially when I get to the data battles. Thanks again, guys. You're the best. And excuse us for meddling. Oh, sounds like somebody's feathers are a little ruffled. I'm kidding. Thank you, Sora, Donald, Goofy. So where are you guys headed next? Uh, you know. You two lovebirds seem to be getting along just fine without us hanging around. Yeah, we gotta go! Uh-huh. Before we start meddling. <laughs> yep. Right. Are you turkeys trying to put me out of a job? If you keep acing every challenge, champ, who am I gonna train? Aw, oh, you can't abandon me now, Phil. I gotta be at the top of my game in case Hades shows up again. Hey, I mean, cool, he was what? Yeah, come on, Phil. How about it? Let me see now. Well, you're not wise enough. Not quite seasoned enough. Okay, okay, we get the hint. Look, kid, it's not my call. Ah, fool. Of course, if it was, you'd have no problem. I'd make you all heroes in a heartbeat. Really? Say it again. On second thought, if those are your hero faces, you still got a lot of work to do. Ah, hey, what do you mean? Go away. Phil! Leave me alone! See that? Well, what do you know?
You know, I actually just recently watched Hercules like last year and it quickly became one of my favorite Disney videos. And Hades quickly became my favorite Disney villain. H Hades is just hilarious. He's a he's a fast talker and he's hilarious with it. I just I just like Hades. Hades is a badass. A new episode was added. Now we can do all kind of all kind of arena battles and paradox battles. Now I can go back to Hollow Bastion and deal with the NPC, but that's gonna be on the next episode. See you later, take it easy. Now